Hey Leia users, today we're going over a portion of Leia's toolbox. So in the mobile editor, we're going to click on this icon in the bottom right corner, the circular with a white background. We'll click on that, open up the toolbox. And as you can see at the top, there is a desktop view and a mobile view. We're going to click on the desktop view so we can have an overview of what it looks like when we were looking on a browser. As you can see, um, the, uh, the about section has like a light blue uh, background to it. That's going to be our main color. Uh, remember that. So we're going to come back to that. So let's say we want to redo the design of the entire page. We'll click redo design. She's going to ask us if we're sure. We're going to say yes. Um, so what this is going to do is automatically save our website as well. Um, so uh, in case, and again, in case you want to, you prefer your previous design, you can you can navigate through those as well. So as, she, as you can see, she's given us a different image and a different uh, design for our header there. And as you can see, the color, there's like a kind of a bright red color. That's, that's our new main color. Um, it looks like the only thing right now is we have that border for that A on, on this header. So in case you want to change that color, if you have a, you know, a specific color for your brand, you can underneath where it says previous design, that's what we would go if we wanted to go back to that other design. Beneath that, you can see that it says change main color. We can click that and you can either choose a color of your choice or you can let Leia choose a random color and let's go with that one. That looks good. Uh, so yeah, see that, that it looks, uh, that my, my words a little too long. So we'll edit the font size down and, um, just so it, just so it all fits. See, look, boom, it fits with 42 pixels. That's great. And then underneath that, uh, above that, let's go back up. Underneath where it says redo design, you can save your changes, which we recommend saving pretty frequently so you don't lose any of your hard work that you put into your site. And now let's go back down underneath change main color. You've got your edit site metadata. So what this is going to do is uh, it's, it's just how your page is defined. It's how search engines identify and describe your page. So you, you know, let's say you want to change your title to oh, my, my site's called Al's Landscaping. Uh, so we'll do that and that's also going to change uh, when you're looking at it in a browser That's going to change what the tab says uh, So that's that's good and you can also edit the description as well and, You know we want to be pretty thorough with that some specific stuff specific to your page so users can uh, Your customers can search and they'll they'll find you easier with that so you can update your description and then underneath the metadata We've got Leia mail She's our that's our mail service it allows you to create custom email addresses at your business domain name. And we have a great tutorial you can check out uh, with more specifics on that. So we'll get out of there. And then, you know, concerning the domain name, you can, we have the landscaping 418348.site.live. You know, we can, if we want, uh, again, she's going to ask you to save changes because she's going to refresh once you, if you choose another domain name. So we'll continue without saving. Uh, .site.live is free. Um, you know, you can change that. Let's say I want to get rid of the numbers. Um, I don't think that's going to work. I think that's already been maybe been taken. So if it's been taken, you got to find something that hasn't. And same thing with the domain name. If you if you want to purchase a, uh, a .com, a custom one. So if you already have one, you can punch it in there. Say, yes, I have one. And she'll walk you through those steps. If you say no, she'll ask you, you know, what domain would you like? And then she'll search and say, hey, that's available. If it's available, you can pay uh, $12.99 a year uh, for a subscription. Um, otherwise, she'll say, no, that, that domain's taken. You can't have that. So you can walk through that as well. And then website security. Um, if you have the .site.live, you automatically have the SSL certificates. Uh, but if you end up getting another domain name, you might want to look into getting an SSL certificate for just $10, about $9.99 a year. Um, and that's it for now. We'll have another section, another video tutorial for the rest of this toolbox. Uh, thank you so much for watching.